Wes, I just have to congratulate all of you on The Last of the Mohicans. What a fantastic picture this is. I think you all better get your tuxedos pressed right now for the Academy Awards. Really? <laughs> oh, I think it's I think it's an Oscar caliber show. I certainly do. I'm not the first one to tell you that. I don't suppose. Oh. Well, from my part of it, let me thank you very much, dear. It's, uh, it, I'm proud to be a part of it, and, and that's what I am. So it's part of it. it the, the whole thing is is what really makes it what it is. I think, and and I I happen to share your your feelings about it. I was emotionally moved by the first screening that I saw of it several weeks ago. And it is uh, emotionally involving, don't you think? Absolutely. Mm. Wes, what do you want audiences to get out of your character? What do you want them to come away with? In one way, and I, let's say I'm playing to <clears throat> the Native American uh, audience, okay? I know I, there are different audiences, but let me just concentrate on that one for, for this particular era, time. And I, what I'd like for them to see uh, is the amount of influence that the Huron, the Mohawk, the Mohican, the Sacken Fox, all of these Northeastern Indian, the amount of influence they their people had on the formation of the kind of world we live in today. You know, this is what I'd like for them to see because we've so far in history, we've seen film history, we've seen that too many times we've been, say, the victims of European oppression and that kind of thing, you know? And this is not necessarily the case. We're in The Last of the Mohicans. This particular story, we're dealing with something like 300 years of history, you know, from 1570, 76, before America uh, even came to be, right? And there was a great amount of turmoil and, and uh, the birthing of a nation, I guess, is one way to look at it. But the amount of influence that we as people had is something that I think we all need to know about, Americans, everyone alike, you know? That's one of the things. Your character has a very different look. And I know that Michael Mann was insistent that everything be authentic. So what, did, what sort of physical transformation did you have to have? Well, I had a scar right here, right? <laughs> Another scar right here. I had scars all over the place. And I also shaved my head. Uh, sort of like that far in front and then all the way back on the sides and had a full growth in the back, you know, which was augmented by different things. Uh, but uh, different look in only that we took some poetic license in uh, uh, building Magua as opposed to the other Hurons. We gave him a little bit of uh, touch here and there and exactly what it was, I don't really know. You know, I, I, I can see it in the picture, but I can't tell you exactly what it is, uh, you know, by detail. But uh, uh, he was definitely a Huron. And, you were involved yeah. with Dances with Wolves. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you think American Indians will see this as opposed to the way they were portrayed in Dances with Wolves? Well, with Dances, we, we're talking about a romantic overview of of the Sioux, of a particular people, a Western Indian. And in uh, Last of the Mohicans, we, we're looking at a different set of Indians, a different kind of people, uh, different sets of people here. And uh, actually, it's kind of refreshing in a way because you don't get to see these people very much, you know? And, and uh, I think that rather the, than being quite as romantic an overview, we're talking about the real thing here. We're talking about uh, the romantic as well as the darker underbelly of human nature of not only the Indians, but the French, the British, everyone, the colonials involved in there. We're talking about the good things about people as well as the underside. You know, it's, it's the uh, other side of the same coin, you know, it's there. We recognize it, and in this film, I think we almost celebrate it. Well, I think in closing, I must tell you that Russell Means is touting you for an Academy Award oh, nomination. Thank you, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he can be your agent. Oh, he, he, but he does a great job at 
with that last speech in it, that's touching. To me, that is touching. Yes, but he's in. He's my agent. He's <laughs> insisting that you have a nomination, so I hope that comes true for you. Oh, me too. Thanks, Wes. It was nice talking Very to you. Very good to meet you.